Hi guys, Rich Bassini from Let's Talk eBay. Today is June 7th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. Today, I want to talk about using eBay's background removal feature. For those of you who don't know how to get there, it has been driving me crazy for a while, but I finally got there. And now I want to share the information with you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right to it. First off, you sign in, of course, to your eBay ID. Here I am already signed in. I'm going to go over here to eBay. I'm already there. I'm going to click on sell. And once I get to the sell part of it, I'm going to scroll down to one of the items that I want to show you as just the demo purposes. Uh, so maybe you may want to use this feature, but maybe you don't know how to get there because I know they, they have it for the um, Android, you know, Android phones and the iOS phones. Uh, if you'd like to do mobile app uh, listing, I don't. I like to do everything on the desktop. So without further ado, let's keep going down. I'm going to scroll down to the Cuisinart uh, coffee maker I have listed here on eBay. And I'm looking for it, looking for it. Oh, there it is. Let's click it on right now. Okay, when you get to this window here, you're going to do like you normally would, revise it, but there is another window to switch over in order to use the removal background feature. So let's, I'll show you how to get there. So click on revise your item. Now, this is the way it normally looks. This is how I'm used to seeing it, okay? As far as that, this is the way I'm always been, you know, been doing, as long as I've been doing eBay, this way is always, I always seen it like this here. What you want to do is, let's go to the top here. You see where it says, send us your feedback? Right over here, it says, try the new listing tool. Click that on, and you're going to get the message, switch listing tool, try out the new listing tool and tell us what you think. You can switch back anytime. Switch listing tool. You're going to click that on. Now, you're going to notice the format's going to be a little different here when it pops up. Okay, here you go. You see everything's a little different. You see the format here. Let's scroll down and you'll get an idea of what I'm referring to. As you can see, you can still make edit features. You can still change things around, pricing and so on and so forth. Uh, you could check out, you could change your categories if you need to. If you have a store, you could change the store category. Now, uh, on the description, you're seeing over here in HTML language, that's a default is that if you want to see your listing in its regular format just uncheck it and you'll see it in its, you know it's regular format again when you go down you could also change the pricing the quantity and so on and so forth okay so anyway what we want to talk about is removing the background from a photo okay now I picked this one here because I like this here to look professional now you could do this here pretty much through all your photos. All right, so if you click on here, that's a little trash can, that will delete the photo. Do not click that one on. Double click it here, or click it once. My, my mouse is very sensitive. What you wanna do here is you wanna get rid of all of this. The wrinkly over here, it's nice. It's a white backdrop still. A little off, you know, it's not like 100% pure white there, but we wanna remove that there. We want this, we just want the image over here to show. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over where it says remove background. The X is if you want to X out of it. You're going to click this little icon over here. When you click it on, you're going to get this message that pops up. Frame your item. What you want to do is frame everything where it's going to touch it. You want to get everything as close as possible. Okay? So you're going to move this all the way down over here where it basically touches the item. Okay? Don't go all the way down because we don't wipe that out. So just go where it touches it like this. Like that there. Again, same thing on all four corners, folks. Okay? So get it like that. Whoops, I want to go a little more scotch. There it is, my mouse. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here, the bottom. And remember, you got to do all four corners. Like that. Okay. So now, once you're satisfied with it, it looks good. You got everything, all everything's all compacted in there. It looks good. Hit the continue button. And voila, you got a nice, clean, professional looking photo. All you got to do is just click on the save. It's going to save it, hit the done button, and now when you go back, don't let that fall. This I know it looks a little like it cuts some of the stuff off. When you go back to your regular listing here, go back to the classic, everything should be normal again. Switch back to listing tool, okay? Let me get back to that there, and then you can check out yours, and look how nice it looks, folks. That's all I have for you today, and as I always say in my videos in closing, if you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay, I am wishing you guys all the best in sales. 
Until next time, bye-bye for now.